Hey YouTube, it's FM Edition 34 and I've got the new Divinity Legion deck here that I'm going to do a review of for you. Um, it's actually a really good deck. I'm just going to go over the whole thing right quick. Um, I'd advise buying one, um, preferably even two to three because the cards are just that good and Dragonity's going to be a very playable deck and this has most of the good pieces of a Dragonity deck in it, including some that you can't get anywhere else. Um, first one is obviously this guy, Arma Levaton. Um Basically, he can pull out Lad from the grave and do some nasty comboing. Um, he can pull out Dragonity Phalanx, and Phalanx will special summon itself, and you can make Trident Dragion. There's potential of TK there. Um, he's just a really good, solid card. Um, definitely one of the hearts of most Dragonity decks, if not all. Um, there's also Arma Mistletane. He can pull something out of the grave and equip himself. Once again, combos really well with Dragonity Phalanx. Um, quick Sync for 8. Um, of course, he does have to uh, sack somebody to come into play, but still. Um, quite good. Doesn't come anywhere else, at least not yet. He's also Dragonity Aculus. He's just a good two star uh, Dragonity Tinder that can equip. So, good thing to use there. Um, Ducks and Legionnaire come in here, and these guys, of course, like a lot of the cards in the stack, are from Ars Hidden Arsenal. But uh, these guys, when they get summoned, they go search for uh, some dragon in the grave and equip them equip to themselves. So it's a quick way to special summon Levaten or something like that. Um, and use the other Dragonity cards that I like to rely on those kind of synergies and whatnot. There's Dragonity Tribus. Uh, he's not that exciting by himself. He's, a t um, he's not even a tuner. But he does go get um, little dragons and stuff into your grave, so he's like a foolish burial. Not too bad. Dark Spear. Um, good for Black Wings, even, so he's got other uses. Um, he also came in Arsenal, but it's nice to have another printing of him. Uh, Militham is not that exciting. Pilos isn't really all that exciting. Um, there's some of these other guys, like, little guys. This guy gives a double attack when he's equipped, and this guy can hop into his bell trap zone other ways. Not too exciting there. Hunter Owl. That's his first printing since his uh, promo version, so that's kind of cool, but uh, yeah. Kamakiri, I guess that's not so bad. Spear Dragon. This guy's cool because when he's equipped and he dies for the first time, he can still activate his effect, so it's a nice way to use him. Um, our dragons are okay. It's not really their era anymore, but it's still nice to have them. A um, couple copies of Mask Dragon. Dragonity Ravine is uh, one of the most crucial cards in this deck. It doesn't appear anywhere else, at least not yet, once again. And what's cool about this card is, um, basically it's the core of a lot of good dragon strategies. Um, it's one of two effects, and of course it's a field spell, so you can terraform for it if you want. Um, its first effect allows you to add a level 4 or lower Dragonity from your deck to your hand. And that's any level 4 or lower. That can be like either the Winged Beasts or the Dragons, so that's a cool effect. And the second effect is what makes it a lot more playable even in decks like um, Hopeless Dragon, potentially. It is once per turn. The other choice is you can send one Dragon monster from your deck to your grave, and that's any Dragon. And it can even be used to dump like Light and Darkness Dragon. So, um, very good, very useful. Another reason you might want to buy two to three of this deck. Um, Dragon Mastery, not that good, but it doesn't come anywhere else. First common printing of United, that's nice, but it did come in the terminal. But for those of you who don't have access to terminal, this is another good way to get this card. It is at three now. Mage Power, Dragon's Gunfire. Semi Destruction is actually pretty cool now that we don't have Storm or Cold Wave. I mean, it's, it's an intriguing option. Um, Creature Swap, underestimated, very good card, but lots of common printings. Reincarnation, another good one. Foolish Burial, this one hasn't had that many printings actually uh, recently, so it's really good that this card's out. Uh, very nice to see it in this deck. It's so useful in so many things. Good card. Card Destruction, eh, not bad. Windstorm of Attack was first common printing. Monster Relief, same deal, but not as exciting. Legacy, once again, first common printing, not bad. Final Attack Orders, finally gets a reprint. Mirror Force, if you missed it in the Gravekeeper deck somehow, you got it again, so no excuse for not owning Mirror Force now. Dragon's Rage, not too exciting. Bottomless, if you're just starting out the game, excellent card, definitely worth running it to in most decks. So, very good staple card to pick up here. Miyabi's okay, but Dragonities would rather discard from the hand than sack on the field, so... It's, it's still a useful card, though, because it spins cards to the bottom of the deck. Pretty unique effect. And last but not least, Icarus Attack, which is also good in Dragonities. Did just get limited to two, 
But if you haven't gotten it before, this can be a good way to pick it up in case you're having trouble getting it. So, overall, good deck, worth getting, and um, until next time, rate, comment, subscribe, and enjoy.